Hey everybody, my name is Sam. And I'm Angela, and we're Green Acre Homestead. We're down here in the lower garden today, and we are going to start installing the fence for our new big garden plot back here that we have plowed up and tilled up and worked on over the past couple of weeks. If we seem a little bit happier in this video than usual, it's probably because our boys are being watched by Mimi. So we are down here in the nice breeze and with the sounds of the creek and the sounds of our normal grumbling and working, but no kids screaming. It's peaceful. It is peaceful. It's like our own little spa. A <laughs> fence spa. Yes. I like the way you think about spas. <laughs> <laughs> So our plan of attack is to get the T-posts in the, at least the four corners of the garden. Starting here at this corner, running a string line down, put another corner, and that gives us a straight edge. And uh, putting the posts in probably every 10 foot spacing, maybe 15 foot spacing. The fencing we've got, you guys will see here in a few minutes, is very lightweight. It is just a deer net fencing, so it's nothing major that needs to be held up. And uh, hopefully no animals will be pushing on it, so it's not like it has to hold anything back like a field fence or anything like that like a bear like a bear <laughs> so let's get working let's go i knew you were going to say that you always say let's go it's my thing it is your thing let's go time for fencing <laughs> look good this way yeah right there uh-huh look good yeah. Two more. You're good. That was pretty quick and easy, but that was only four posts. Now we've got to collect the rest of the posts that are down here. Um, we were reusing T-posts that were put down here three years ago. Mm -hmm, I think so. Um, we were originally going to do electric fencing back then around the entire outside perimeter. That's too close to the weeds, got grown over. So we're going to salvage all those posts, bring them in, and install them here into the garden. Um, I, can't, I don't know if it looks bigger or smaller with the string around it, but... At least that is it right there. I don't know if you said it earlier, but we're doing this so we can still mow and use the rest of the garden around it. Right. And it doesn't get grown up on the fence. Right. Yeah, there's a lot more space down here we could fence in for sure. But we're just trying to fence animals out of the garden where the food will be and leave everything else easy to maintain. Because we do mow, weed eat, the kids play at the creek, all that Ride kind of bikes, stuff. Ride bikes, that type thing. Yeah. All right, well, let's go to the grounds for some posts and uh, be back in a second. So we got this nifty little T-post puller here, and I know we have a lot of women that watch, and this is something that women can do really easily. Use a lever so you don't have to put as much muscle into it to do it. So here's how I do it. Put this foot piece at the base. And then put this down as far as it'll go and hook it on one of the teeth. And then all you do is pull down. And you kind of got to do it a couple of different times. But it makes it really easy to get out. We got a thing in the way there. Weeds and all, it, it is out. Put you back here in the shade tree so you guys can stay nice and cool out here. It is a little bit toasty, mid 80s today. Um, we'll go ahead and start putting these posts in the ground. Kind of eyeball the spacing, thinking 10 feet spacing, maybe, but hey, we'll see. We'll play by ear, that's the way we go. So, enjoy the picture show.
Whoa, whoa. A little bit wonky here, but the T-posts are done. Angel just ran up to the house on the four-wheeler to get the zip ties. Yes, we're putting the fence up with zip ties. You guys will see here in a second, don't worry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up all the string that goes around the perimeter, all this green string, because we no longer need it. And then we get to open the fence and you guys get to see it and then we get to put it on and then we get to have a whole lot more fun. Ta-da! String ball. As you see the scene behind me here in the Jeep, you got these long black things. Is anyone else reminded of a really great movie from the 80s? I don't know if this ORV has bullet holes or not, but it's it not is all-wheel drive. It wasn't blue. I thought it was blue. No, it's a black Cherokee. Oh. We're talking about Goonies. I feel like I'm Chunk about to be, well, I feel like Chunk a lot, but in this scene, <laughs> I feel like I'm Chunk about to be thrown in the back of the Jeep, picked up by the Fratellis with the stiff from the Rocky Road freezer. Oh, and the chocolate eruption. And double chocolate eruption. No, in reality, this is our fence. It uh, came to us in a plastic bag. It's fine. It's plastic fence. I'm trying not to cut the fence up. Can't tell what it is from here. It's fence. A lot of dark blackness. It is black knit. It is uh, sold from a website I found on the internet. This is usually where you buy or find websites uh, called Deer Busters. They sell deer fence supplies and stuff. So I don't know if this is good or bad. So this isn't an affiliation or a plug or whatever, but it's where we got it from. It's what it is. Now let's make it happen, Captain. the rabbits and the groundhogs should I think this is uh, particular fencing is rated for I want to say five-year UV resistance outdoor obviously you wouldn't have this in your house it should keep out rabbits and groundhogs I sure hope so I don't think they'll chew through it I don't think they'll be able to push through it hope not uh, we'll probably have to stake it to the ground though lots of stakes Okay, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just undo this and start putting it together. The good thing with it being plastic, this is four feet tall, 330 foot long, it weighs maybe 35 pounds. A lot better than field fence. A lot better than field fence, oh my gosh. <laughs> We'll bring back memories of us doing that sheep fence in our yard. <laughs> Let it roll down the hill. Con controlled, yes. <laughs> so here's why I got zip ties to attach the fence because these are just as strong or stronger than this. So no overkill. So I got a big old pack of zip ties. Never have too many zip ties.
So instead of getting a seven or eight foot roll, which was a lot more expensive, we went ahead and did two four foot rolls. Not to mention it's a lot easier to manage than a huge roll. So we are going to hold up the roll again that's smaller until we get to the top of these T-posts, attach it, and then cut off along the bottom where it meets the other fence. Does that make sense? Yeah, so we're going <laughs> to splice the two. Yes. Say that. We're going to splice the two. So since there is a huge overlap, we're going to go ahead and cut it a few squares below where they overlap so that we can use the bottom for the top and conserve. All right, we're back out here again today. Uh, if you hear some noise in the background, Elijah is running the weed eater. Angel's doing some brush clearing on the hill behind the camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this fence. I need to go ahead and make a little bit of a gate here out of some PVC pipe and then finish buttoning it together and pretty much calling it done. I have this scrap piece of, looks like two inch conduit. Um, I got it from somewhere, I don't know where. Um, I'm gonna use it as a gate to pretty much just latch and wrap the whole fence at once since this is very lightweight and will be pretty much low traffic you know we're not going to be going in and out a whole lot so we can handle this one pretty easily first step is to put it in place and attach the fencing to it i'm going to drill some holes through here for the zip ties to go through and lock the fence onto it Things are pretty well buttoned up here at the gate, and I'll show you guys that here in just a second. But before I can finish cutting the overlap of the fence, I really need to start from the other end, which is way back over there, so that I don't mess up on this part here. So, let me go back over there with the scissors, cut the overlap, and work my way around to the gate. So the gate is all done. I did decide to move it from about a foot and a half down on this side to right here at the corner post of the T-post. It just is a lot easier to open and close and it, the fence itself doesn't get hung up on the nubs of the T-post or the zip ties that are on the corner post. Opening and closing it is really easy. 
for a grown-up, which, hmm, it's another benefit I hadn't thought of. You gotta be at least this tall to open the garden. First step is to remove the zip tie up here at the top. It goes over top of the pipe. That zip tie is attached to the fence, right here. Second step is then pick the PVC pipe up, off that rebar, and then you're good to go. No, it doesn't swing all fancy-like, and it's not pretty, and doesn't look like something off a Disney movie, but it is functional. It is super cheap, as in no extra cost for this fence build. I found PVC pipe somewhere a long time ago, so it was laying up at the house anyway. So, scrap PVC pipe, the fencing itself, and a couple more zip ties, piece of rebar, and you got yourself a gate. I drag Angela back over here. She has been behind the camera today working on some serious brush cutting and just something you got Reclaiming in your, space. Got in your <laughs> head and didn't want to let go. <laughs> right. So yeah, she's had um, her and the boys over there cutting out a bunch of Chinese privet. No, they're just junk. That's starting to overgrown Honey down here. Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle, yeah. But the fence is done. There's still a little bit left as far as probably like staking the bottom here and there. Mm -hmm. um, We'll do that off camera. I mean, you guys use your imagination. Just imagine stakes. Yes, the whole staking action. So hopefully uh, this fence works good. We don't know. It is specifically made for deer, so which is what the number one thing we're trying to keep out down here. Mm -hmm. And then groundhogs, but groundhogs aren't going to get through the fence. We just have to worry about them trying to get under it, I guess. Mm -hmm. But anything else you want to add about fence or your brush madness? No, not really. Okay. Well, we hope you all enjoy this little video here. Be sure and check out some links that are going to pop up here once I'm done yakking at you. That's videos that is our garden playlist and also some others that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. It is starting to rain, so we're going to head out. Anything else yes. to say? Yes. See you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.